Hey everybody, welcome back. James here again with you. And today I want to follow up on the 100 yard video from the gauntlet last time I posted. I uh, took a little hiatus on the air gun videos, but I feel like this video will help a lot of you out. Now in that video I posted a while back, I said that if the barrel had a barrel band, that would help out so much with uh, the group size. Downrange, again, at 100 yards. Um, so anyways, uh, I was using the Gamo 15.42 grain again, and I wanted to shoot at 100 yards just to see, make sure the gun was still shooting the same. Uh, and I had the camera facing the right way this time, so you guys could see the group on target at 100 yards. Okay, so the gun was still shooting about MOA, right under it, maybe a little bit, uh, group sized averaged height and width. So I took it upon myself to uh, make a barrel band for the gauntlet here. Now I wanted to make this video because uh, just to see if there was a big difference in having the barrel band, you know, before a lot of you decide to make one or go out and buy one because um, there's a few guys out there on YouTube that make some, uh, Hajimoto being one of them. Um, but I just wanted to see if it really made that big of a difference for you know you guys invested the time in making one or spending the money in buying one. So the next group here, I'm about to show you shooting clips, same distance. Uh, I'm shooting in the wind at six miles an hour, same wind. Uh, all these shots were within like, uh, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes of a shooting session at 100 yards but now I have the barrel band on and so that first group was with the gun as is without the barrel band as you would get it and then I put my homemade or DIY barrel band on to stabilize the barrel even more and to see if it would make a huge difference downrange. I didn't want to do it 50 yards I wanted to see if it was going to make a big difference it would do it at 100 so again, same conditions, same day, everything. Check this out. Okay, so I'll show you guys how to do that barrel band if you're interested here in a little bit. But here's my target here. So I, there's the first group. You've seen that in the, the video clip. Uh, this is about one MOA average. Well, here's the group with the barrel band on it. And you can see a big difference in the vertical spread. Cut it less than half. This was an inch and three eighths from the top, very top shot to the lowest shot of impact and straight across here, half inch. So that's what I was worried about. So the wind might have played a little bit of effect because these pellets are really slowing down and hitting this target at about 600 feet per second. 
and that is a long stretch, especially for a 22 cal. Now, you probably see me shoot six shots. I did pull that one, so that's what that's about. That was my fault. As you can see, I shot another one just to be sure it wasn't the gun, and they're all bunched up right there. And I hate when that happens, but to me, shooting more than, uh, you know, the group size that I shoot, like if I decide to shoot 10, that would show more of a shooter's inconsistency than the actual gun's inconsistency. Because I know this gun, and I know that it, it shoots these pellets extremely well, not only at 100, but at 50 also, with and without the barrel band. But anyways, uh, these pellets, if you haven't been following the, the channel or the videos with the gauntlet, untuned gun, uh, these pellets average about point, uh, average 0.17 of an inch at 50 yards. Now at 50 yards with the actual barrel band, uh, I got some amazing groups. So I didn't take video because I didn't see the point. You guys already seen what it did at 100. There would be no point in me sh showing how much better it can get at 50. If it cut my vertical spread down range, because that's what I'm worried about. Left and right, that's either me or the wind. And the wind to me did not play that big of an effect. And again, you'll see why here in a second. But at, especially at 50 yards, this gun is insane. Um, with this barrel band setup that I made, um, let me show you this first group. As stated, you know, shooting a group shows a lot more about the shooter inconsistency, especially when you have a gun that's so accurate that anything you shoot is shooter error. And did I mention that was in 12 mile an hour wind? That was the next day because, you know, they say cat, the cat got killed by curiosity and uh, I just wanted to see if this barrel band was the real deal that I made. And holy cow, this next group I'm about to show you is the best group I've ever shot with this gun and same pellets, uh, 50 yards, literally the same hole. I mean, you cannot get much better than that. It come down to, uh, again, anything I shoot with this gun now is shooter air. And the first group, uh, that, sh that one shot out of the group had to have been me, because like I said, check this out. Now I really wish I did get those shots on camera, but it, to me that doesn't matter. You guys already seen the huge difference at 100. It, it, I mean, it is ridiculous just how uh, this barrel band tightened my groups up that much. And actually, if you want to get uh, critical about it, it, for me, it tightened my groups up over 70% from what I was getting before. All right, so you're probably interested in how to make this thing, this, uh, this barrel band. And it's pretty simple. So I'll show you guys how to make it here. Okay, so you can see here, I have a piece of PVC. This is one inch. It is cut at about four inches. And I just have this rubber grommet on here to cover my set screw. But what I did under here, and I'll have to retune the gun now, because I found out that once you, once you take this off or mess with it, you have to readjust it, re-get it aligned and everything. But so, I got it pinched in between the bottle shroud and the barrel. This barrel cannot move anywhere. There is no flexing at all. Um, I wouldn't say 100%, but 99% of the flex is gone. There is none. And if you move it side to side, the whole gun moves. If you move it up and down, pretty much the whole gun moves if you lift up at the balance point, but you get the point. So let me show you what I did here. So first off, to make this quick and simple, I went and got four of these 114 o-rings from the hardware store got my pvc cut at about four inches again 
and then I put a notch in the PVC at one end. I'll take it all apart for you guys. Just keep it simple as possible. Okay. So I like my PVC lined up with the end of the bottle or the shroud. It doesn't really matter. But why I got four O-rings is because of this. They are under the PVC. Set it about one inch apart. I put them about one inch or so, probably a little more now that they stretched out, but they were about one inch in front of the bottle. And then the PVC just slides right over them, just like that. And you can see here, there's a notch. Right there. And I had to use a drill bit, it doesn't really matter. But the reason why there's a notch there is because I made a set screw for my bottle shroud to keep everything still. Now, when I put a stud in this, a uh, sling stud in this bottle shroud, it already voided the warranty, so I didn't really care about that. But as you can see here, I wanted my barrel band to stay consistent in the same place. I didn't want it to wiggle out. I wanted it the same, same exact spot. So what I did was, at the seam of the bottle shroud, right here at the point, I drilled a hole in it and made a set screw um, little set a little screw will work any screw really but the thing is you're gonna have to grind off the inside grind the, the point off and get it in there and get it tightened down so you don't you don't want it too far out because you can scratch your shroud I've already did that a little bit and it'll get caught on your bottle but so once you get it perfect it's pretty much set in stone how it works it just slides right on your bottle shroud again or your bottle you get your get everything set up Make sure your shroud stays tight on your barrel. Get your PVC lined up. And then everything just fits in line right there. That notch, that screw fits so perfect in that notch. And then you just bring everything back. And it just snaps into place. And the tighter the better. That way it doesn't move on you. And then you tighten up your bottle shroud at the bottom. And you can push your PVC forward and lock it in place with that set screw. Just like that. You just want the head of the screw to sit offset inside the PVC so that there is no movement. And I'll show you guys this. Now I'm not going to take the, the barrel full or the PVC all the way out, but versus the standard barrel, which has a lot of flex in it because I've stated that I've seen it with my bare eye, and I noticed it downrange because of those 50 shot, 50 yard groups being uh, up and down and averaging 0.17 of an inch. That was because the barrel was whipping. Well, check this out. And I'm putting a lot of pressure on this. I mean, you really have to put some force on this barrel to get it to bend. And side to side movement, the whole gun moves. So again, with this barrel band set up, it is pretty much as accurate as the person. Uh, actually more accurate, but again, once you get this set up and tuned, uh, shoot a couple pellets in it before you start shooting for accuracy it'll be golden uh, it's set now so and then I just put this three quarter inch rubber grommet back down to cover the set screw which really doesn't matter it's just for aesthetics um, but you can customize it however you want that's why I like about it doing stuff myself because it's mine but first thing was first before you know you get all uh, you know paint jobs and stuff. I just wanted to see if it actually worked and I hope you guys can be a good judge of that because as stated it literally cut my groups in the vertical spread the group size uh, Or the vertical spread of the group size a uh, little over 70% at 100 yards and at 50 um, that 100 yard group uh, 
the tightest I've ever shot with this gun. And like I said, the barrel band, uh, I truly believe that the barrel band is the real deal now. Um, so again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I appreciate you watching as always. And like I said, I'm still on the hiatus of air guns, but um, I wanted to get this out there because I had to share it. It was kind of eating at me not to tell you guys about this because it is it is the real deal. And I firmly believe that. And after you guys seen this video, I hope so too. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching as always. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks again.